welcome back to the after party where I've been getting a behind the scenes look from Nicole, Eris, and Shaquille. All right, Eris, you and Jasmine <laughs> each had separate meetings with relationship expert Devon Franklin to help sort out some of the problems you're running into. Let's take a look at Jasmine's meeting. I've learned in this process that in my relationships, I just brush things under the rug because I'm very non-confrontational. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was just kind of like a, mm -hmm. a breaking point. What do you feel are the things that are keeping you from just telling him exactly how you feel and asking him exactly what you want him to do? I think I'm more so worried about the response. You know, we know what Eric's going to say. We're not going to worry about that. Mm -hmm. What we're going to worry about is Jasmine having the confidence and the courage to go in there and say, we got to talk. Yeah. So when you do notice Jasmine sweeping things under the rug, like how do you handle those situations? To be honest, it's, it's kind of tough because... I mean, we're both non-confrontational people, but also am aware that, like, we don't have, like, the best environment for her to feel completely yeah. vulnerable. Like, the relationship isn't in a space where it's ultimately as secure as I would like it to be or she would like it to be. So even though she's holding on and sweeping stuff under the rug, like, I totally understand the yeah. why. I get it. Okay, interesting. Do you think that would affect your attraction if Jasmine decided to speak her truth and put you in your place let you know uh uh not today no, that, that's sexy to me like, okay. like when I get checked yes. and I, I need it cause clearly. Man, lord knows yeah, clearly. I, I, I be needing it so you know, put me in my place I, I don't mind Jasmine girl I'm gonna need you to speak up I see a totally different side of Jasmine here that's amazing because when I first met Jasmine she was like I just let things go I brush everything under the rug I don't say anything I don't want to speak up because you know, that's just who I am in relationships, and a, a switch has flipped, and she's ready. Right. So, Shaq, how about you? I think Jasmine wants the advice, and she's going to really take it and use it. Mm -hmm. And I think at this point, this is the, the peak point in Jasmine's marriage to where she's like, okay, I'm not going to be afraid of what Eric's response may be. I'm just going to go into it knowing that we're in a marriage, and what can we do? to continue this marriage, but know that she's a strong black woman and whatever answer that she get, you know, she can be able to receive it without, Absolutely. you know, taking it in a negative light. Because it's not some interstitial stuff. Yeah. Well, Eris, on last week's episode, Jasmine broke down while hanging out with the other wives. Let's take a look at this. Even when we've, like, had conversations, like, with the experts, he's like, yeah, like... I'm going to be more intentional, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I want this to work. But I feel like after it, it's acknowledged, there is no change. Oh, have y'all had that conversation? Oh. No, because I don't have the conversation. Jasmine says that she doesn't feel the change in you right. or isn't seeing the change in you. What are you doing differently? I know you, you, you acknowledge when you have work to do. So what are you doing differently, and why isn't Jasmine seeing you? <clears throat> I feel like there have been changes, but they're not consistent enough. Okay. Some days there might be a hug and a kiss on the cheek when we're both leaving the door. The next day it's like, I'll see you later. Like, almost like a friend. Like, all right, I mean, I'll see you later. But so then I don't like you feel you. Consistent? Um, me being in my head a lot. What you like? She got a kiss yesterday. I'm not giving her a kiss today. I mean, like, <laughs> what are you rationing kisses? Help me understand. No, it's like <laughs> these simple things. Uh -huh. have now become awkward, uh, if that makes sense. So what do you think? Um, I'm going to start with you, Shaquille. I'm glad she has got to a place of being vulnerable with others. But, you know, you have to tell the person that you are going through it with how you feel. So, it's you know, be it's gonna open get and vulnerable and know that, you know, it's a safe space between you all that you all can have these conversations. Nicole, do you encourage Jasmine to have these conversations with Eris? Oh, absolutely. I and mean, that was the biggest piece of advice we all gave her after this meeting was you have to tell Eris these things because we're not mind readers. And I think she was just so afraid of what your response would be. But having these fantasies in her head or, you know, thinking the worst case scenario, it's always going to be worse. And you can also manifest it very easily that way. Right. Okay, well, we have to take another break. But the spouses group get together was a roller coaster of emotions. And we'll be diving into every juicy detail when we return. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.